another unusual day. The Camino walked us next to a road for most of the day, winding us through a valley to avoid too much climbing. We passed through several small towns, eventually landing us here in Vega de Valcarce. I saw very few other pilgrims while walking, the benefit of booking ahead and not having to play the race for a bed game. We usually leave between 7.45 and 8 o'clock each morning, a full hour plus after many of the other pilgrims. I stop only a few times each day while Taylor and his friends enjoy stopping more often. It works very well because we usually catch up at breakfast, lunch, and then at the albergue each afternoon. We saw a guide today we haven't seen for a couple of weeks. He has the most unusual method of using his walking poles. I talked with him briefly with the stilted English many use on the Camino. There really is a beauty in Camino relationships. Many of us are sure most of the world's problems could be solved if country leaders had to walk a Camino together. Okay, time for a little morning report. Just had breakfast. Got about 10K so far, but another 12 to go today. Walking along the road today, but in the midst of a lot of hills. So thank you whoever set this path up that you found a way through the, uh, the valley rather than over top of those things because they're pretty steep. Yeah, so... Another great day today. This is our albergue for the next two nights. We're taking our last rest day here before the final city of Santiago. The next stage goes up to the third highest climb of the Camino and weather reports are calling for snow up there tomorrow. Waiting a day might give us a gift of walking through fallen snow rather than falling snow. This has literally been a rest day for us. Being in a small town with no touristy things to see, experiencing the first cold, rainy day in a while, and really needing to rest have all meant we have done just that, rest. I have accomplished two major tasks today though. First, we actually walked two kilometers back. What in the world would cause us to backtrack? Pancakes. They were worth the four kilometer round trip. Second, and this might surprise those of you who know me, 
but I scheduled out the next eight days of this walk, which brings us to Santiago. We know what town or city we're walking to each day, and we have our lodging booked in each place. I know it's not really the Camino way, but it is getting really busy now, and it takes the pressure off each day knowing we don't have to race for a bed. The best part of the scheduling was that Maria, our hostess, called each of the albergues for me. She called eight places in the same time it would have taken me to call two. She is now Saint Maria to me. We are ready for tomorrow, a 24 kilometer uphill through Osibrio, a small town getting snow today, and then on to Fonfria, another small town on the mountain ridge. So it's going to be cold, but we're looking forward to it. I had an early start at 7.15 because I was just so ready to get back on the trail. And then the trail promptly beat the snot out of me. We had heard that although this wasn't the highest nor longest climb, it was the most difficult. And I concur. Very steep in parts, loose rock throughout, and then for good measure, cold, mud, and rain. The nice thing was that even though there are more people on the road now, these kind of days really separate groups out. I would guess that over half the time today, I couldn't see anyone in front nor behind me. That was pretty enjoyable. I did have a very pleasant conversation at lunch with a man from London. We talked about all the usual things, evolution, world politics, dragons, historical Christianity, the demise of purgatory, wet boots, our New Zealand church's beliefs and ministries, and lemonade. You have to be ready for any kind of conversation on the Camino. Well, good morning. It's uh, quite a different day than we've had in the last few days. It's a cold, rainy day. Getting ready to climb up on the, uh, what some have said is the most difficult climb today, although it's not the highest. But uh, had a rest day yesterday and feeling absolutely fantastic. Um, did have a bit of a fall not too long ago. I was walking the side of the road tripped in a hole twisted my ankle but fortunately Taylor had showed me already some good ankle exercises it means I can keep walking so thank you son all right looks like the climb's about ready to begin you don't need to hear me huffing and puffing see you at the end of the day Be great if it was a beautiful day. I'm sure that would really light up. <laughs> 